Hi guys, Lewis here. Today we're diving into WeWeb, an amazing platform that allows you to build websites without needing to code. WeWeb is a no-code platform that makes building beautiful, responsive web applications easy. It offers an intuitive drag-and-drop interface, customizable templates, and powerful features to help bring your ideas to life. In this video, I'll explain everything you need to know about WeWeb. First, we will learn what WeWeb is and what it could do for you. Then, I'll guide you through the sign-up process and help you set up your account. We'll have an overview of the dashboard. Then, we'll explore how to create a new workspace, a new project, and finally, to customize the project. So let's get started. First, if you're new, let me give you a brief overview of what WeWeb is. WeWeb is a no-code app builder that enables users to create professional web applications using a free website builder without needing coding expertise. It allows you to build custom front ends connected to your backend. WeWeb offers various features such as a no-code front-end builder, visual programming interface, production-grade web applications, advanced business logic, and no-code workflows. The primary users of WeWeb include small businesses, freelancers and creatives, e-commerce entrepreneurs, non-profit organizations, and educators and institutions. So if you're looking to set up your website using website builders, an online store, or develop a custom educational platform, WeWeb promises to cater to your needs. Now, let's see how you can sign up for a brand new WeWeb account. To sign up for an account on WeWeb, simply search for weweb.io using any browser of your choice. Here, I'm using Chrome. You will come straight to the official WeWeb website. Once you're on the page, it will give you the option to try it out for free. Locate and click on the Try for Free button. It will redirect you to the sign up page. You can sign up using your Google account or your email address. Choose the option that best suits your preferences and proceed accordingly. For now, I'm choosing the Google account as it would be easier. After successfully signing up for a new WeWeb account, the next step is to personalize your account. Firstly, choose your organization size, the industry your organization operates in, your role, the app you're planning to build, and lastly, after selecting the final option, click on the Start Building button. For now, let's exit the Choose a Template pop-up so we can take an overview of the dashboard. Then, you'll be taken to your account dashboard where you can analyze the WeWeb's features. Once you access the dashboard, you will notice that the interface is designed to be simple and user-friendly. It provides you with an overview of your account and various features that you can access. The left menu serves as a navigational tool, allowing you to move between different sections within WeWeb easily. The workspace section displays the existing workspaces you have created. Each workspace represents a separate environment where you can organize and manage your projects under each workspace. Moreover, you can create a new workspace dedicated to a new project or to further categorize your work. Below the workspaces, you'll find another section, Learning and Resources, available on the left menu. This this section provides you with access to valuable learning materials and resources. In this section, you can access different tabs. For example, the Book Onboarding Session feature allows you to schedule a personalized session to get up to speed with WeWeb. It's perfect for new users. The Referrals tab allows you to invite others to WeWeb, and you might even earn rewards. Next, the Learn with the Academy tab allows you to access educational content and courses to master WeWeb's features. It helps you enhance your skills and maximize your use of WeWeb. Then the Documentation tab is a useful link to WeWeb's detailed user guides and manuals. It offers detailed information and instructions on various aspects of the platform. Furthermore, the Ask the Community tab provides you with the facility to connect with other users. If you have questions or need advice or tips, you can utilize this option. Lastly, the report a bug tab allows you to report any bugs, errors, or technical issues directly to the team. Hey, quick interruption. Are you searching for the most efficient way to manage your business, life, or finances? Well, I'm excited to share a valuable resource with you all. We've developed top-notch Notion templates to streamline your business operations, enhance your personal organization, and optimize your financial management. Click the link down in the description of this video to check it out. All right. Back to the video. Now, let's have a look at the main features in the personal workspace section. Whenever you create an account, WeWeb automatically creates a personal workspace for you based on the information you provide. Let me walk you through the main features included in your personal workspace. First off, we have the projects section. It shows you all the projects created in the workspace. Plus, you have the option to create a new project directly from here. Then comes the coded components section, which helps you manage custom code components integrated into projects. Next is the self-hosting section, which offers you the facility of setting up hosting options if you choose to host projects outside of WeWeb's infrastructure. The Members section allows you to manage plans, team members, and collaboration settings. Lastly, the Settings tab provides options for workspace-level configurations, including permissions, integrations, and more. As you see, the dashboard and your personal workspace interface is super simple. You can explore and get to know the other features of the dashboard at your own pace. Now, let's see how to create a new workspace in WeWeb. But before that, let me explain why you need a second workspace. As soon as you create an account, WeWeb creates a workspace for you based on 
on your needs. So why would anyone need a second workspace? There are several reasons to create a new workspace. For example, if you want to work on multiple projects with different teams, or if you need to separate personal and professional projects, or simply want to test out new features without impacting existing projects. In these cases, having a second workspace can be very useful. To create a new workspace, navigate to the left menu and click on the plus add a new workspace option. Then on the pop-up window, enter your new workspace's name. Write a name that matches your project's theme and purpose, then click on the create button. It will take a moment to create the workspace, but once the process is completed, you can see your new workspace on the left menu. Now let's talk about how to create the new project. Next, to create your new project, click on the workspace you just created. The workspace window will open where you can manage the projects within that workspace. Then click on the create project button. A pop-up window will appear with two options. One is a blank project option, which you can select if you want to create a project from scratch. The second option is the pre-built templates for your project. You can choose the template that suits your needs from the available options. For now, I'm going to select a template called Basic Layout. Hover over the template and you will see three options appear. Click on the Create Project option. The next step is to provide a name for your project. Enter a name that describes the project's purpose and click the Create button. It will take a while to create the project. Then it will take you to the editor interface where you can make various customizations to your project. Now that we have created the new project, let's move on to customizing it. Customizing your project is a straightforward process. At the top left corner of the editor, you can see the pages option, which will display all the pages. You can edit the entire template and all its pages here. However, for this tutorial, let's focus on customizing the login page. Click on the login page and it will open the main interface of the editor. Now let's start selecting the content we want to edit. For example, let's change the title from login to sign in. Simply double click on the title and then write your desired title. You will see that the right panel will open with various options, allowing allowing you to further customize the title. Similarly, you can make other modifications by double clicking the elements and making necessary changes to them. Once you have finished customizing the entire template using the same approach, you can publish your project. To publish it, look for the deploy button. Once located, click on the button and this will make your customized project accessible and visible to others. One important thing is you must have a paid plan from WeWeb to publish the project. Otherwise, you won't be able to publish it. Go for the plan that works well for you. WeWeb is a no-code app builder that enables users to create professional web applications using a free website builder without needing coding expertise. It allows you to build custom front ends connected to your back end. WeWeb offers various features such as a no code front end builder, visual programming interface, production grade web applications, advanced business logic, and no code workflows. The primary users of WeWeb include small businesses, freelancers and creatives, e-commerce entrepreneurs, nonprofit organizations, and educators and institutions. So if you're looking to set up your website using website builders, an online store, or develop a custom educational platform, WeWeb promises to cater to your needs. And that's it for this beginner-friendly tutorial. Today, we covered everything you need to know to get started with WeWeb. We discussed how to sign up and gave an overview of the dashboard. We also covered how to create a new workspace, a new project, and how to customize the project. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe for more step-by-step -step tutorials. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with WeWeb, feel free to drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, take care.